The switch assembly allows you to turn your rotary tool on and off, vary the speed, and it holds the motor brushes. Like any switch, it will wear over time and eventually will need to be replaced. A bad switch may prevent the tool from turning on or being able to vary the speed. Replacing the switch assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the collet and collet nut. Then the collar on the front of the tool. Now I can open up the housing. It's secured with four screws. With the screws removed, now I need to slice through the labels on either side of the tool. Now I can go ahead and lift the motor and switch assembly out of the housing. Now remove the brushes from the motor. Now I can remove the cord wires from the switch. To do that, I'll use a small pick. I insert the pick next to the wire, and this releases what's called a trap door inside the switch. Sometimes you have to work it around to get it right on the door, and then the wire will pull out. With the cord wires removed, now I can replace the switch. It just pulls away from the field and over the bearing. And then the new switch slides in place and these tabs plug back into the field. I want to make sure you get all of the tabs aligned. and then remember to replace the rubber boot over the bearing. Now I can reinstall the cord wires. They just press back into those openings on the top of the switch. Now I'll reinstall the motor brushes. Now this whole assembly is ready to go back into the housing. As I install the motor back into the housing, I want to make sure that I have the switch lined up with the slot in the housing. Take your time making sure everything is aligned. Once in place, you can replace the side covers. These slide over the brush caps and then the grooves on the side covers align with a tab that runs all the way across the housing. Now reinstall the housing. Once everything's in place and aligned, I'll secure the housing with the screws.
and I'll finish up by reinstalling the front collar, the collet, and the collet nut.